Hey guys, if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, head on over to patreon.com slash Madden help. You'll receive the best blitzes, schemes, tips, glitches, money plays, and defenses in Madden. This is the best content you're going to find anywhere online for only $5 a month, so head on over to the link and become a patron today. What's up guys, we're back again to show you a scheme out of the single back bunch in the Washington Redskins playbook. First play we're going to go over is the halfback angle, and the adjustments you want to do is you can drag the tight end or leave them on that route and then you want to put the single receiver either on a in route or an out route and then you want to motion the slot receiver over so your reads want to go from the drag route to the corner route to the halfback angle route now if your opponent is in man or a cover three that out route to the single receiver side is really good so you definitely want to be aware of that if they're playing a lot of cover three uh, but if they are playing cover three as well against this play you can hit that delayed um, corner route as soon as um, the ball is hiked. Um, you can either set up like a quick screen to him or wait till he starts heading up the field um, because the zones are going to drift back uh, on a cover three or even a cover two. Now this running back route is really good because you can hit it right there as soon as he breaks and he'll catch it and get up the field or you can wait for him to come across the middle if they vacate the middle of the uh, area trying to cover the drag um, or the the spot coming uh, deep down the middle right there and what you see once they jam him he gets into a tender area um, where you can throw a high point pass to the streak and then you're gonna have the running back coming underneath so they have to pick which one they want to uh, manually guard um, but you see all these routes we're going against random defenses and they're picking apart um, just running basic stuff um, is really good like I said I like to drag the tight end uh, and I would put the outside guy on an out. That's my main two adjustments I would make. Now the other adjustments um, you're going to see is we're going to utilize this motion as well. Um, so it's a big part on why uh, we're putting that besides just trying to get that corner out unbumped um, into the sideline for a easy play to complete. You see here all the zones get pulled up and we have the running back underneath wide open uh, for a big game. That's great if you have a battle ready. Uh, running back or even a running back with the better uh, route running will have a better cut on that angle as well so you have to uh, make sure that your running back uh, if you want them to have clean cuts to have high route running uh, personnel wise you want your outside receiver running the out route to have your high the highest route running so you can make that clean crisp out route tight end same thing you want them to have uh, really good speed because he's running the drag uh, speed and acceleration is the main part for the corner, you want your uh, receiver to have really good um, route running as well. And the guy who's running the streak, you really want him to be tall with good catching traffic. So when you throw high point passes to him. So I hope you all enjoyed this video on the halfback angle. Uh, stay tuned for the other videos as well. We're going to be going over the halfback slash. We're going to be going over the PA boot slide, which is really good. Seattle or four verticals. Uh, those are the main plays you want to mix into this concept of this mini scheme. So if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more great content. And if you'd like to become a patron for all the best schemes, weekly tips, and the best content in Madden, head on over to the link and become a patron today.